In this video, we are going to see how to randomize our numerical sequences. So let's quickly create one. So we refresh our memories on how it's done. We create a cloner, and then we go and create a text spline. I'm going to type 1 and click outside. Make it a child. Make a copy to become a sibling. Let's type 10 in here and click outside. Zoom out and turn the cloner into blend mode and make the copies 10, press enter, and let's space them out. And we have our number sequence. Now what I'm going to do for this experiment is change my cloner mode from linear to grid array. And I'm going to make this 10 by 10 by 1. So I have 100 numbers. I'm going to go here and type 100 and click outside. Now let's go to the cloner and let's space this out a bit and space this out and you can see that we have all the numbers from 1 to 100 laid out in rows and columns. This is great for your homework but I think you, you know how these things work. Anyway, let's see how we can randomize these numbers. I'm going to select the cloner and go to the MoGraph menu and add a random effector and by default it randomizes the position. We don't want to do that so I'm going to turn off the position. What I need to do is modify the clone as it's called and it's this parameter down here. I need to change this to 100% and you can see that now we have all these odd random numbers which are overlapping and so forth. That's not exactly what I want. There are two more things I need to fix which are important for this method to work. I need to tell the random effector to generate a very specific type of randomization which is called not random, but sorted. If you use this sorted, then each number is going to be used only once. And of course you're going to ask me, so why we, do we have so many ones here and all sorts of other odd numbers? And the reason is we need to go to the min-max. If it's closed, you just open it by clicking on this very small arrow. You need to make sure that your minimum and maximum are 0 to 100. So 0, press enter. And now we have a list of all our 100 numbers in no particular order but each number is portrayed only once so 100 is only once and 1 is only once and so forth you can check it if you have time I do not so this is the way to randomize these numbers if for any reason you don't like the particular way they've been randomized all you have to do is go to the seed and change it the seed will just generate a different randomization. There is no particular connection between what seed 1 is and what seed 2 is. They're as different between themselves as 1 and a million. So just find a number here to create a randomization you'd like and you're good to go.